OSP brings back some hairy dice. LSD brings new bags and new colors. And the return of the Sammy 65 from Lucky Craft. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back my friends. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle. Tackle Taku on Instagram, being joined once again by my buddy Jeffrey the King. Jeffrey the King. What's up mate? Top of the morning to you, sir. You look a little more sunburnt. You might have gone fishing yesterday. It's been very hot here. Yes. Uh, 118 to be exact. It's it's pretty miserable. Dude. Yes. Yeah. It's it is so hot. But what the hell is my beer? I think I might still have heat stroke. <laughs> it's Sunday morning, and you know what that means. Yeah. Nice cold Orion. Sir? Oh, you're going to drink two today for us? Here. Oh, right on. Take it. I, I knew you weren't going to take it, so I didn't even waste a cold one on you. Feel it. Is it actually Yeah, warm? that was sitting in my 118 degree car. Oh, that's solid, Jake. Yeah. I knew you weren't going to drink it. Some Okinawa. This one, though? Yeah? Mm -hmm. That one's cold? Well, I'll, I'll save this one for you when you get thirsty again. <sighs> You never fail to disappoint. Absolutely. Yeah. I told you in five years or whatever. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. If this is your first time joining us. Apologize. Mm -hmm. We're the Hookup Tackle USA. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. We're going to highlight some new product drops, some important restocks. We're going to drink some beer. We're going to make fun of Jeff for not ever doing anything cool nope. with me. He just, I don't know. Yeah. He, he talks some smack behind uh -huh. the camera, basically. Yeah. You excited for iCast next week? <laughs> Excited is not the word I would use. Hmm. Force at gunpoint to go would be the better term. Yes. That's actually very accurate. Yeah. You will be at ICAST. And oh, so will I. I have to point the gun at my own head. Who else so, are we bringing? A special guest that we should lay? We might have a special okay. guest. We'll save that. Stay tuned. Yeah. Okay. So, unfortunately, it's uh, a necessary evil for us to be at ICAST every year. So, we'll do our best to bring you some live coverage from the event floor, as well as another exciting video of all the latest and greatest new product releases and knockoffs from the wonderful world of ICAST. What do you think there's gonna be more of? Exciting new product or just straight up knockoffs? Ooh, um, probably straight up knockoffs. Will a knockoff win best of show for the second year in a row. Absolutely. What do you think this is? I have my feelings on <laughs> what what's already going to get put in. <laughs> yeah. So huh? stay tuned. It's going to be a fun week. We're going to drink a lot. Are you going to drink with me at ICAST? Are you bringing Orion in tow? Are you allowed to bring Orion on a plane with you? Of course. Why wouldn't you be allowed to bring Orion with you? Yeah, that was a stupid question. Yeah, I need one pair of shorts, yeah. one shirt, a hat, and like a case of Orion. Yeah. Yeah. It all goes in my suitcase. It's just gotta be under 50 pounds. That's right. Yeah. Should we talk about some tackle? Uh, that's right. Yeah. We'll okay. Do let's let's do that. So, you know, getting back to your love of of what we do here and your disappointment in everything, let's just start with some baits that absolutely oh. drive you insane. Good so, thing. OSP Harry Dice Psychoro Rubber, right? Return in two colors. We're doing our best to get everything. As I mentioned before, when OSP came out with these, they're incredibly difficult to produce. So it is gonna be maybe forever before we see the entire color line. I'll let you guys know as they trickle in. So Muibi and Black, two of their new colors are back. These are gonna be available both in the Max Scent and, or Max Scent. <laughs> I got knockoffs on the mind, Jeff. 
in max salt and no salt. So basically just two different sink rates. Uh, I think most of you guys are familiar with this guy. We sell out very quickly every time we get them. We bought everything they could make, okay? So it's hundreds and hundreds of packs, but they're gonna fly out again. So if you guys have been waiting for any of these to come, definitely are a different scent, oh. right? Those are available while supplies last again from OSP. Well, we're on OSP, huge restock across the board in soft plastics. A lot of things come back that have been out. The Dolive Beaver Magnum, the four inch, the 3.5, so on and so forth. Pretty much all the Dolive plastics are back. So if you guys have been waiting on any of those, great time to pick those up all back in stock from OSP. All right, let's jump over to one of our favorite brands, which is Lucky Craft. Lucky Craft is known for making baits disappear. Yes. Let's just say it that way, mm -hmm. right? Especially some key baits that we all use and all love and then all of a sudden they just, they vanish, right? And one of those baits that vanished a few years ago unexpectedly was this guy. This is the Sammy 65, okay? Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the Sammy 65, this is two and three fifths inches, seven thirty second ounce, so basically six gram, almost a quarter ounce, okay, just to make it easy, okay? The Sammy 65 is a bait that for years and years was a staple in almost everybody's lineup here in Arizona. It's the smallest Sammy that they make, and really it's an amazing walking topwater bait when the fish get super picky on size. So when they start eating fry and baby shad and little tiny baby bass, little bluegills, right? The Sammy 65 has the profile and the movement that no other topwater bait really has like this. So this is a very exciting kind of reintroduction of the bait. Now, well, this, does this mean they're gonna continue to make it? I hope so, but just knowing Lucky Craft and sometimes their crazy ways, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. But for now, the Sammy 65 returns in a handful of colors. Okay, and I'm gonna fly through this with you. So in the US colors, Ghost Minnow, all right? Aurora Black, Chartreuse Shad, and for the first time ever, Sexy Mama, which looks super dope. I mean, I'm a sucker for white, so give me, give me a white top water and I'm all yours, okay? Keep that in mind. Oh Jeff. yeah. Okay, so there you go. US colors, four colors. <laughs> pretty pretty normal <laughs> for like craft, but while they were making them, we actually snagged a bunch of Japan colors, okay? So the Japan colors are gonna be pretty limited. There's only a handful of each one, but there's some options in here too that are very unique that have never really been here in the US. So take a look at it. If you guys are looking for small top waters, a lot of you may be huge fans of this bait already. Wall supplies last, Sammy 65 is back from Lucky Craft. All right, while we were snagging uh, some Japan colors in Sammy 65, we also saw that they were making some bee freeze. Okay, so the Bee Freeze is basically the Japan version of the Pointer. They were making some kind of nichier Bee Freezes, so we grabbed them while they were making them. So, handful of things to report for you guys. The 78 Bee Freeze, so Bee Freeze 78 in floating, we grabbed everything we could grab in that. So, that's pretty rare. The, the Pointer 78 is a true suspend. There's not really a floating version of it. This will give you a floating version, which is great in summer and fall when the grass is real high and you need a bait to kind of stay up a little higher in the column, these would be great. So handful of colors, again, all JDM colors, those are available. We also grabbed the, what they call the long bill version, we call it the DD, right? In the 78 in the B freeze. And again, this is gonna be a floating version as well. So this will let it get down a little bit deeper and then if you guys are ticking grass or ticking structure and just need to kind of lift up, those are also available while supplies last on that. <clears throat> we also found a bunch of the Bee Freeze 65 long bill in the float and there's some really dope colors in this. So if you guys like throwing smaller baits, uh, the 65 is one of the most popular jerk baits in the trout world. 
in Japan, a very popular one here in store for bass and ponds and you know, just anytime you need a smaller bait. It's 4.8 grams, 65 millimeters. So those are available. Also one that we haven't seen in ages, the Bee Freeze 65 square bill. Okay, so the square bill is going to have a true square bill to it. Let me open one up. Now this is going to be a sinking version, right? So this is going to sink slowly. Uh, anytime you add a square bill to a little jerk bait like this, it's going to give it a very erratic action. So, you know, most pointers and bee freeze are gonna have a very consistent side to side movement. Once you put that square bill on there, who knows where it's going? It might go up, it might go down, it might go left, it might go left twice, right? So it's gonna be super erratic. So you can have a very aggressive cadence with this guy. You can also just cast and retrieve and have it be more of a straight retrieve, almost like a great hunting type bait would be. So while supplies last on there, the Bee Freeze 65 square bill are available. And then finally, or I shouldn't say finally, two from finally, we also snagged up a bunch of bevy shot. So this is a very popular bait in store when we can get our hands on them. So the Bevy Shad 60 is available and also the 50 in the Silent is available. So this is just a very finesse kind of shad offering, very famous in Japan, <clears throat> very popular amongst our consumer base. So a lot of you guys are probably gonna see this and go, holy shit, finally, they got some back. So if you're in that boat, scoop them up, grab them while you can grab them. Uh, the Bevy Shad returns from Lucky Craft. And then finally, right? Gotta say it twice. A bizarre one. Oh, okay. Okay? Honestly, I've never thrown this. I saw it, it was cool. There wasn't a lot available, so I just snagged it. This is the Lucky Craft Malice. So this is kind of a very unique kind of top water crankbait, wake bait kind of thing. Right here, I'll take one out, let you let you see it. Let's go with a crazy color. Okay. And there are some crazy colors. There's some pinks, there's some yellows, some chartreuses. And there are some natural colors like I use and the shads and stuff that I was throwing. So it's basically a loud one knocker, right? That's designed to basically just be a top water crankbait or a wake bait. So it's gonna have this very unique lip to it. It's just gonna give you a different look and a different vibration underwater. Something that the fish haven't seen, haven't heard. All of this is just about a little bit of uniqueness, right? So these are gonna fly out of here. Again, it was not a big stock. I just took everything that I could find. So if it's interesting, you wanna try something unique, you can check out the Malice. Let me spec it out for you. 57 millimeters, nine grams. So kind of, I don't know, almost three eighths of an ounce, okay? So you'll be able to cast this and throw it easily might be worth a stab. So there you go, some cool JDM baits, a return of the Sammy 65 from Lucky Craft, new this week. All right, let's go the opposite way, Jeff. Let's go to some bigger baits. Okay. Okay. So big restock week, some new colors, new sizes from Gancraft. So I'm gonna kind of fly through a lot of this. So Joy Crawlers return. This is, uh, or has been, probably one of our more popular crawler style baits. You know, I'm not a huge crawler fisherman. Do you throw a crawler that much? Uh, every once in a blue moon. Yeah, so, but I'm also fishing primarily lakes, mm -hmm. right? Bigger water. Natural and problem. I think crawlers really where they shine is in small bodies of water. It's, it's a pond bait really, right? So ponds, river systems, you know, Griff throws crawlers a ton, catches the shit out of them. Uh, we sell a ton of them. Oh my. God, they could not have locked this down any harder to get out. You were supposed to just put it on the shelf, not fish it. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here you go, Joy Crawler. Essentially, they took kind of a Gancraft 178 joint and claw and created a, a crawler out of it. So it is the 178 size. This is a very popular one. It's just got a different movement than something like an I-Wing's gonna have or an NZ crawler. There's nine million different rabbit holes you can go down with crawlers. This is gonna keep you in that thinner kind of bait fish profile. And there's some amazing colorways. There's some matte finishes, some glossies, some shads, some darks, so on and so forth. So if you guys love throwing crawlers, if you guys are fishing ponds, smaller bodies of water, 
you will absolutely destroy them on a crawler, especially this time of the year, where you can fish them really slow, they'll hover right over the grass. A lot of things you can do with this. So, if you've been waiting for a resupply, Joy Crawlers are back. We also see a custom color in the 178. This is Nibiru Hasu. So this is a super sexy color. I'm gonna take it out because this one speaks to me. Jeff, I know you're a huge fan of the 178. Yeah, it's the best size. So I've always thought the 230 was the best size. I see. The 178 is super sexy though, mm -hmm. right? So it's easy to throw. This is a look at Nibiru Hasu. It's kind of a muted matte finish shad pattern. It's got lots of little Little, that little hit of silver on the gill, the fins. It's a dope one. I mean, they're gonna crush this for us uh, in the waters that we fish. So, if you guys are looking for just a different color pattern, this is a great one. When you fish this, Jeff, because I know you throw it a lot, are you usually throwing it on 20 pound? What's your usual setup on something like this? Uh, like a medium heavy swim bait rod. Okay. Uh, 16 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. Okay. Um, the hooks that come with it are fine. Mm -hmm. It comes with a snap too. Yep. So you just put the snap on there and you're pretty much good to go. So right out of the box, just throw it. Go fish it. Yeah. And the jointed claws are great because you can just cast it and wind it and it's going to have that built in. It's kind of the original kind of S motion kind of bait, mm -hmm. but it's got a great kind of almost jerk bait motion mm -hmm. to it. A little bit more aggressive. Super dirty. Yes. So it's a great one when they're aggression is high, right? You need something to kind of move quickly. I think you guys will love this. So there you go. Custom color in the 178 is available while supplies last. And we also see a big restock in 148, 128s. TS Smokebait is back. So this is one of the sexier kind of natural uh, colors that they make in the line. A bunch of the 128s come back. So all kinds of different colors from shiny, to uh, muted, to natural. So a bunch of those guys are back as well. And then we see new colors in the Jointed Claw 70 in the saltwater, as well as some restocks in some of the uh, existing colors. So you know, we were talking about this earlier, Jeff, the 70 is, is probably the number one selling size in the Jointed Claw, even yeah. though we like the bigger sizes, mm -hmm. right? But the 70 is just an easy one to throw for, you know, pretty oh, much everything. any species. Yeah. Like I'm seeing tons of species. Crappie, uh, crappie trout, trout. I mean, trout smoke this yeah, thing. Yeah, they hammer it. Right? Bass, like smaller water bass, ponds, little rivers, skinny water, smallmouth. So if you got, if any of that speaks to you, this is a great one. We added some saltwater colors because I thought these were dope. If you guys are fishing saltwater, you're gonna love them, but if you're fishing freshwater, all of these are gonna apply. The only difference is the coloration here, okay? So these are all gonna be in the sinking models. So there's a couple really dope bitchin' colors. Check out that one, it's designed to look like a kind of a white shrimp, but it's super shaddy, mm -hmm. right? And then this guy is also in a glow pattern. So it's kind of a muted matte kind of watermelon shad that will glow as well. So if you guys are night fishing or fishing really early in the day, you have that option. So some new colors, some new custom colors, all sizes. So now we've got anywhere from the 70 all the way to the 230, tons of stock in jointed claws. So scoop them up. It's a great one. If you guys aren't using it, you will thank Jeff and myself for using it. It's a great one. Okay. So available from Gancraft. Okay, and while we're on Gancraft, a brand new soft bait introduction as well. I give you the Gancraft Cabrata. Okay, so this is a 9.9 inch soft plastic worm designed to be a wacky rig worm. Okay, okay like but this. also Neko rig. So we've been hanging out with, uh, with the dudes from Valley Hill. This week we were talking to him yesterday about some of the you know, just techniques of what's popular and what's not popular, right? And Neko rig is still like crazy popular over there. One of one of the main finesse approaches. I would say it's probably way down the list here mm -hmm. in the U.S. I think it's still drop shot super high, and then I would say Ned rig, That's right? Yep. And then we have some techniques like free rig and that kind of stuff coming in. But here is a look at <clears throat> the Cabrata. Okay, so it's almost kind of a 
double-sided bait that kind of meets in the middle. So you can see that it tapers on each side. So if you guys fish things like a flick shake or maybe just like a weighted wacky, this will be a great one. It's gonna have that nice kind of quiver motion as it falls. It has uh, the grooved ends here that you would expect from a Gancraft soft plastic that's gonna give it a different motion and a different feel. If you guys are going to use this on a Neko rig, they designed the tail section uh, on both sides to be able to adapt to a nail weight. Okay, so very easily you can attach the nail weight in and then you can Neko rig this as well. So you've got some options to it, okay? Really where I see this thing shining is in the Wacky Rig because that's really the main design. So if you guys are looking for a longer, almost 10 inch worm that's still pretty finesse, but it's gonna give you that nice big body, the Cabrata is available now. Wall Supplies Last from Gancraft. All right, while we're talking swim baits, Jeff, we see a big restock as well as some new colors from Bait Sandy in their Explorer Gill. So two new colors land this week. We have a new trout color and a new bass color, right? Now, why do you need a trout color in a bluegill bait, you may ask? because it's just the movement and the ability to customize it that has really put this bait on the map. Yes, it is a bluegill pattern. And if you have been waiting for the actual bluegill colors to come, those are back as well. Okay, so bluegill is back. Dark bluegill is back sinking and floating. So if you guys have been waiting on those, this is a great time to scoop those up. I'm gonna take this one out because this one I mean, of course, anything trout is, is great, but this bass is so sick. All right, so there's a look at the new bass color. Obviously, when you see it, it looks like a baby bass, but this is just a sexy color that could literally be anything from a gizzard shad to a baby bass to a carp to a bluegill. This is gonna be a super versatile color for you guys. So excited to have this. I think they knocked this out of the park. Uh, again, if you guys aren't familiar with the Explore Gill, I think everybody by now is, is familiar with this thing. We talk about it a lot. Uh, it has the padded grooves, so you're gonna eliminate a lot of the knock. All of the tails are customizable, so they're going to come with a flat tail as well as replacements. It's going to be designed for gliding, but you could easily pop these off, add a paddle tail, add an atom tail, different things you can do with these. So there you go. Two brand new colors, trout and bass from Bait Sandy as well as restocks in all the gill colors in the Explorer gill. We also see a huge restock in Antidote Glides. Okay, so if you guys have been waiting for these to come, this is the probably the easiest glide to have you get into glide bay fishing. They're inexpensive, they're under 30 bucks. Uh, they glide great. All you gotta do is just tie them on and go. So if you guys have been waiting on any of these to uh, arrive and come back, all the colors are available now from Bait Sanity. All right, while we're talking restocks and swim baits, let me fly through a few of these real quick. A lot of you guys have been loving the Kasumi Designs IU clone. Jeff, you talked about this the other day mm -hmm. in one of your videos. Thoughts on this? It's a dope swim bait low key like and nobody really cares about it but it's got a soft plastic shell kind of like how the depth 250 is but they took it even further and it's really soft and yeah. so it's got a great glide you can just swim it it's a great size like there's a lot of great things about this bait that a lot of people are kind of still just sleeping on and it's a really rad bait it's a great bait. one yeah yeah it's one that you guys should definitely consider adding to your arsenal if you catch them on glides so everything just just said is perfect, and available they're, again. They're and not almost, even that overpriced either for no, Japanese exclusive swim bait. Definitely like. not. And it's something that's unique to be this soft mm -hmm. and have that movement. So there you go. May, it might be something worth putting on your radar. Try it. IU clones are back. And also from Kasumi Designs, we see the Boracon 150s return in all colors. So all their cool like carp and shad and trout colors uh, come back in this. This is a 48 gram. 150 millimeter lipped bait. So very, very cool movement on it. Great action. So there you go. Restock on those as well. Speaking of depths, we also see a big restock in some key colors in the new Slide Swimmer 175. So 
you know, some of the wild carp colors, the bass, the rainbow trouts all return in this. The new 175 has been super hot. It's got that uh, kind of spring loaded weight in the head that puts out the vibration. It's a huge improvement over the previous generation of 175. And again, it's in a perfect bite size package uh, that's easy to throw. So if you guys have been waiting on 175s, pretty much all the dope colors return. We also see a big restock in the Silent Killer 175 as well. So if you want more of a crake down version, you have the Silent Killer. If you want more of a glide version, you have the Slide Swimmer. So those are back from depths. Let's talk smallmouth for a second, Jeff. Okay. I like smallmouth. I do too. Okay. Bassmaster Elites are going to be wrapping up at the St. Lawrence River slash, oh, this should just be called the Lake Ontario mm -hmm. tournament, right? They are absolutely destroying smallmouth up there. Like 20 pounds a day, didn't even get you a check. Yeah, no, like, you're screwed. Stupid, stupid weights, right? Well, you've heard of the Johnson brothers. Absolutely. Right? kind of famous yep. in that area. They're putting on an absolute clinic. Well, they have been working with Spro to design a bait that is exactly what they wanted. And I bring to you today the Spro CJ Smasher. Okay, so this is the Corey Johnson, Chris Johnson custom designed bait. We see it, they did a little bit of a leak uh, not too long ago in a couple colors. We see all the colors come in now. Right? So, you know, colors like this is the St. Lawrence Slayer, green pumpkin, purple, right? On and on and on. Now, let me just show you this bait. This was a bait that was super highly anticipated, right? Like everybody knew this bait was in the works and nobody really knew what was coming. So all of the Spro soft plastics are going to be made in Japan, they're made out of this Dura Tough plastic. So it's kind of an elastomer style plastic. So it's gonna be really buoyant in the water. So it's gonna have that float ability to it. Now, they designed this with kind of a squared off head so you can use this as a Ned Rig, which is also, sadly, a very popular smallmouth technique. But we were talking about this yesterday. It's just one of those kind of brain dead things. So sometimes you just gotta throw a Ned Rig. So it's capable of fishing on Ned Rig. You can use it as a jig trailer, but really just a great drop shot bait as well. It's going to have a meteor head. It's kind of almost like a, you remember the Zoom meat worm that we used to all kind of use? It's similar to that. It's got this, uh, you know, very finessey paddle to it. So it's gonna have just a little bit of a quiver uh, as it moves. And it's just snackable, right? So there you go. It's available in a ton of different colors, some really great colors, uh, again, from some chartreuses, green pumpkins, so on and so forth. So if you guys are fishing smallmouth or, yeah, I'm sure largemouth will eat this thing as well, but really, you know, smallmouth guys are gonna go nutty for it. So there you go, the CJ Smasher from Spro, available now. And then while we are on smallmouth, now this wasn't built for smallmouth, this is just built for bass completely. The bait fuel from uh, American Bait Works is now available. A lot of you guys have been asking us to bring this in. This is definitely the one scent that has kind of taken the world by storm this year and replaced a lot of other scents from other brands. Have you used this yet, Jeff? Have you put it on a swim bait or anything? No. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really have a lot of scent flavor. It's kind of, it reminds me a lot of the, that kind of aqua scent from, oh, from like Nori's, yeah. right? Where you know there's stuff in there, <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, they're telling you it's in there. Doesn't really have much scent, which is nice. So I can wipe it on my clothes and not smell like garlic or something. Mm -hmm. But it's totally taken the world by storm. A lot of people are just absolutely crushing them on this. So. If you've been waiting for bait fuel to land, it is available now here at the Hookup Tackle. All right, let's jump over to Owner, a couple of pre-iCast releases from Owner. Uh, a hook that they've actually been teasing now for about a year and a half finally comes to market, and that is the CoverShot HD. So this is a heavy duty version of the CoverShot. The CoverShot has become pretty much everybody I know's go-to uh, weedless drop shot hook, right? This is going to give you a heavy duty version. It's available in sizes from a one aught to a five aught. And basically this is going to be the hook of choice now 
for heavier line. A lot of people, including ourselves, do a lot of like Bubba shot, right? Where you're heavier line, you're pitching it, uh, you're flipping it, you're doing different things, but you can't really use a true flipping hook, a true like wide gap flipping hook when you're throwing a, a six inch rubber worm, right? Or a, a smaller compact bait. This will give you the ability to do that. It is a heavy duty Zowire hook designed as a really a true flipping hook, but in more of a finesse type shape. It's gonna have that same kind of fluoro uh, bait keeper, the welded eye, so everything that you would need and again, it's available all the way up to a size five out. So now you can flip and do different things with thinner baits that will actually take this style hook. So a lot of you guys have been waiting on it. The Cover Shot HD from Owner, available now. All right, also new from Owner, expanding their flashy swimmer lineup. There is now an option for a gold willow. Not sure why this took so long or why this wasn't originally offered, but you know we throw a sh absolute shit ton of flashy swimmers around this place. They're gonna be available from a one aught, uh, one aught, three aught, five aught, and six aught size. Uh, so the same flashy swimmer that you're used to, only instead of a silver willow, now there is a gold willow. There are just times when gold is just gonna get you more bites than silver and vice versa. So now there's another option there. So new from owner this week, the gold willow. All right, while we're talking about Gamagatsu, Jeff, the Lux Avenge Crank 400 has now come to market. So uh, we've talked about this before. Gamagatsu is, is you know famous here in the US for hooks, right? But in Japan, they do baits, they do rods, and, and a lot of this stuff is starting to filter into the market. Some of it is not great. All right, but some of it's pretty dope. And we're always on the hunt for good deep diving cranks. So this was kind of a no brainer for us to bring this in. So there you go, the Lux Avenge Crank 400. This is gonna be a true four meter dive depth. Uh, so, you know, basically you're looking at that kind of, I don't know, 13 to 15 foot range is where you're gonna get this down. It does have a weight transfer system in it. Uh, that kind of rolls front and back. It's just gonna have a different action. Is it going to revolutionize anything that we do? Probably not. But, you know, when it comes to deep crankbaits, you know, it's kind of the same every season. You know, we throw our staples, we throw our OSPs, we throw our mega bass, we throw the normal things uh, that we do. And then sometimes they just get shy because they've seen the same thing coming. Uh, and so it's nice just to add a different flavor to it, I guess. So uh, if you are looking for some new flavors, this might speak your language. That is available new this week from Gamagatsu Japan. And then Valley Hill brings us a whole new color selection in their Giganato series of lipless. So the Giganato TG, right? So it's gonna be all tungsten weighted in some crazy skeleton patterns. I just thought these were cool. If you guys aren't familiar with the Jaguar, this is a 72 millimeter, 27 grams. So you're basically just under one ounce here. Some wild colors. They come standard with Ryugi hooks. So basically you can just take it out and chuck it. So I don't know, do you like any of these crazy dinosaur skeleton colors there, Jeff? Yeah, I love all of them. They're super dope, right? So, uh, you know, a lot of these are gonna be applicable. I mean, there's, you know, chartreuse and green and you know, reds and that kind of stuff, but they're really cool looking too, right? So there you go, six new colors from Valley Hill in the Giganato TG available now. All right, Sunline Japan gives us a pretty good restock in the Defire D braid. We talk about this a lot. This is that pink braid that everybody is throwing now. 15 pound returns, which is the main size that almost everybody throws in this. Uh, so if you guys have been waiting or looking for that, that returns, hopefully we'll see the other sizes trickle back in over the next few weeks. Supposedly the whole line is uh, being produced now, but if you guys have been waiting on the fire D braid, that is available. We also see a return of the Sunline uh, PE braid scissors, also some new colors. So these are super dope, very, very sharp scissors. Uh, you've got a gold option, you've got a black option, you got that kind of shiny silver option. Basically, these are just super sophisticated, super sharp scissors 
for cutting PE braid, designed to be incredibly durable, so they're gonna last you a really long time. Uh, you know, PE braid scissors are always a challenge. So this just gives you a Sunline branded option in some cool colors. So if you're looking for scissors, those are dope, available now. All right, we also see some spools arrive from SLP Works. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking us to bring in some extra spools. We might as well just bring in the best ones, right? So here we have the SOP Works. This is the SV Boost 1000 uh, G1 series. So these are all made in Japan from SLP. These are all gonna be designed to fit Daiwa SV T-Wing uh, reels. So if you're looking for an extra spool, this can be a great option. If you're looking to just upgrade your reel to the brand new SV Boost. This is going to give you that great new SV Boost technology uh, in a spool. These are available in three colors, okay? So there is a red, there is a black, and there is a purple. They all do the same thing. They're just gonna be color toned, so if you want to you know, mix and match your colors or just have different spools, maybe your red has some braid and your purple has 20 pound, your black has 12 pound, you can very easily now just open your reel, slide the spool in, uh, and you've got some extra options, okay? So, SV Boost spools, they're expensive. They're gonna set you back like 149 bucks, but if you need a spare spool, and a lot of you guys have been looking for just other options without having to add additional rod and reels to your combo. This could be a great option for you. So available from SLP Japan, the SV Boost spools for Daiwa. And then while we are on Daiwa, we see a big restock again in my favorite reel. This is the Steez Limited 1000. I know we talk about it a lot. We do but it deserves it. I just, I need to touch it. You want to touch it? A brand new one. A I do want to new one. touch it. Yeah. These are the sexiest, most badass bait casting reel ever created. Uh, so here you go. The seven one to one gear ratio uh, returns. This has all the fanciest Daiwa hyperdrive system. I, it's just one of those things that looks amazing but when you use it, it's just like whole other level here. Touch it, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for the ultimate bait casting reel, uh, I would say that this reel really, um, it's, it's super lightweight. It's, it's compact. It's similar size to a Steez SVT wing, but it throws baits unlike any other reel I've ever used. So even into the wind. So jerk baits, light top waters, anything that's gonna be more on the more finessey side of your approach, it's money. So those return. We also see a brand new BFS reel from Daiwa Japan arrive. This is the Silver Creek Air T-Wing Stream Custom, okay? So this is the brand new almost the Alphys replacement, if you will. So it is a very unique color. You're getting that almost kind of like olive drab coloration in there. Uh, it's gonna come standard with these Japanese cork grips. Uh, obviously the special SV bait finesse spool. So a very unique reel, a beautiful reel, great and really designed for, you know, this type of casting, stream type casting, where you're kind of just kind of wrist flicking and tossing the bait out there. It's gonna be a great addition for you. So I know some of you have been waiting for this to arrive, excited to get these in. So there you go. The Silver Creek Airstream Custom from Daiwa Japan is available now. All right, while we are on Daiwa, some new Daiwa Japan lure offerings to drop this week. Kind of a big week from Daiwa Japan. I would say so. so let's start with soft plastic, okay? The new rattling tube hog lands. So these are gonna be available in a 3.1 inch and a 3.6 inch size. I'll take these out for you. Obviously, as the name implies, this is a rattling bait, right? That is a tube, but also uh, kind of like a beaver creature kind of bait, 
right? So it's just a hybrid bait designed to be a flipping bait. You can use it as a jig trailer, you can free rig it. It has these real heavy kind of claws that are gonna give it a hard movement. It is hollow in there, so you're gonna get the benefit of having like a tube, like a hollow tube by where it's gonna trap air uh, and let it escape. And then on the front end here where your hook's gonna go in, it's solid, which allows them for the insertion of the rattle. So uh, just a cool new bait. It's gonna be a great one. Just kind of flip around, pitch around. I know a lot of you guys are always looking for something just different. So it's available in a ton of different colors from you know naturals to darks. So it might give you guys uh, just something, maybe a little bit of an edge, right? So there you go. The rattling tube hog from Daiwa, Japan, available now. All right, and then we see two new hard baits from Daiwa Japan as well. We see the introduction of the brand new Rapids Crank SR. So this is the shallow running version of uh, one of their most famous crankbaits over there, the Rapids Crank. Okay, so this is essentially just a shallow running square bill. Okay, it's, there you go. Great description. It's, it's a shallow running square bill. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> buy it now. Um, in essence, it's just going to give you a little bit of a different body shape, which of course is going to give you a little bit different, uh, harder hit. So you'll notice that it's much fatter on the bottom, much thinner on the top. You have that circuit board lip. So you're just going to get a different kind of roll from this than you're going to get side to side, right? So it's just going to give you a different type of action, more of uh, flashing action, uh, than maybe a traditional square bill will. So if you guys throw a lot of square bills and you're just looking to mix it up, try something different, this could definitely fill a gap for you. So the Rapids Crank SR, it's available in a ton of colors, naturals, bluegills, all that kind of stuff. So that is available this week from Daiwa. All right, and then another new drop from Daiwa Japan. This is one that I've been pretty excited about, and a lot of you guys have been sending me DMs over the last few months since Daiwa Japan has been teasing it. The Daiwa Gilnado 50 is now available. So this is, again, gonna be available in a ton of colors, from shad colors to golds to bluegills. The Gilnado 50, I actually took this one out of the package, too. Ooh. Yeah, well. I wanted to fish it as soon as it came in. So here you go. Here's a look at the Gill NATO 50. So it is a double prop, very slow sinking uh, bait that can be used in different ways. Now the Gill NATO 50 has uh, basically this hollow mouth that is going to come, allow water to come through and then flow out the gills, which is going to allow it to track perfectly straight. So basically at whatever depth you let this sink, it is going to track at that rate, right? So you want to fish it in six feet right over uh, the tops of grass. You just sink it down and then point it in. It's super, super simple, right? Now, the other thing that this bait is going to give you the option to do is if you remember back to when Megabass had the Explos, right? It was a sinking, basically spy bait like this. And this is, is obviously uh, going to be a spy bait first. But the other thing you can do with this is you can fish it on the top like a buzz bait and you can just pull it as a prop. And then if the fish miss it, you can kill it. And it is going to basically just very slowly sink right into their face and you can move it again under the water and that will trigger a lot of those strikes uh, that you miss on the surface. So there's a lot of flexibility to the bait. You can use it as a spy bait, you can use it as a top water, you can go either way. It's in that perfect 50 millimeter size. I mean, it's just super snacky, right? So it's it's just going to look a lot like a baby gill, a baby shad, you know, smaller things that are in the water uh, that are gonna be around. Let me spec it for you real quick. This is 50 millimeters, 6.8 grams, so basically seven grams. Uh, it's a size seven hook. Uh, right, so and they're good to go right out of the package. I think you guys are gonna catch a ton of fish on this. So there you go, the brand new Gil Nato from Daiwa Japan, available now. All right, and a few more new offerings this week from <clears throat> Daiwa Japan. We see a new set of travel stream rods. Now these are designed as trout stream rods. They can be great for smallmouth bass or any, any species that you guys need a multi-piece rod. These are the Daiwa Wise Stream rods. Now these are gonna be available in two different styles, both in a three-piece, like a traditional uh, multi-piece would be, 
but also as a telescopic rod. And Daiwa wanted to create a super high-end uh, travel trout rod. These are gonna be in that $299 price point. So they're gonna give you a super high quality rod. And here's a look at the telescopic rod. I just think telescoping rods are cool, right? I mean, I don't know that they have a lot of application, but I can just keep this on me, and mm -hmm. then when I need a rod, I just, and I'm Kind of like I'm a in. lightsaber, right? Yeah, it's like a lightsaber, right? So, super dope. So these are gonna be available in different lengths, in different actions. This just happens to be uh, a five foot six light. But these are gonna be great if you guys are just looking for something high-end without dropping six, seven, eight hundred bucks on something like a Smith or a Valken or something like that. So uh, some more great options here from Daiwa. That's the Wise Stream. Those are available now. And then we also see some new colors and new sizes in the Daiwa Mesh Wallets. Now this is uh, the type of thing that I really geek out on when I'm fishing from shore. It's really frustrating when you have packs to not have great organization, right? Because when you're just working with this small little space, it's really easy to just get clusterfuck, you know? So this gives you the option in different sizes. There's a large, there's a medium, there's a small. Uh, inside each one of these is basically just a wallet with some dividers inside. Okay, so you can hang your baits inside of these. You can do any smaller, like great hunting style bait or any you know smaller uh, type of BFS bait from spoons to spinners. There'll be a hard flap to kind of cover those. More here, another hard flap, more here. And then you have this nice kind of mesh wallet uh, where everything is stored for you and everything is organized and kept. And when you need a bait, you merely just unzip you pull it off the foam and you go. So if you guys are shore fishing, if you guys are trout fishing, BFS fishing, anything like that, and you need max organization inside of your packs, these can be great ways to go. And they're super clean looking, right? So the mesh wallet from Daiwa, available now. Dude, that'd be perfect for my flies. You would love that yeah, as a, it as, would, it as a fly fisherman. Yeah. That is my right up your alley. My flies would fit in there so well. Yes, how many flies do you own, Jeff? I own, I think maybe one. Sick. Yeah, so it's so you could probably get away with the small then. I would want to get the large though. Uh, this makes sense. You know, to compensate. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that look amazing to just open up that big large big and then, large. Oh, there's a fly. And then there's one single like black woolly bugger or something. Perfect. Yeah, you should get that. <laughs> While we are on trout, a big week from Ima, Japan. So. One of the like great hunting style baits or spearhead Ryuki style baits that has been a sleeper, but super popular amongst guys that actually throw it is a bait called the Ison. So this week we see the return of the Ima Ison as well as the Ison Max. So these are 45 millimeters. These are gonna be sinking baits. Uh, all the key colors uh, as well as some new colors return. So if you guys like the naturals or the golds, uh, or stuff that has a little bit more hit on it. All of those are going to be available. The Ison, the Ison Max are just gonna be basically two uh, different hit rates. So the Max is gonna give you a little bit harder hit. The original is gonna be a little softer hit. Let's see if I can actually take one out. So <clears throat> there you go. You can see it's a very tall bait, right? So it's gonna have a real hard amount of flash as this thing comes through the water. Uh, the taller they are, the more they're gonna kind of flash and roll to the side. This is just an excellent, excellent bait for bass, trout, any stream or river or pond type fishing. You guys will catch the shit out of them on this thing. Uh, everybody around here that fishes that way loves this thing. So if you guys have been waiting, the Ison returns. And then new from Ima this week, staying in that trout line, we see the addition of the Ima Sukari. So these are gonna be available in a 50 millimeter and a 63 millimeter. Uh, they're gonna have different sink rates to it, very similar to what we just looked at. The Sukari, uh, again, is going to be designed as kind of a stream river style bait. It's great at cutting through current. This is gonna have more of a true minnow profile uh, a little bit more rounded, less of that tall profile. So it's gonna perform a little bit more, maybe like a spearhead Ryuki would. 
it's a great one we need to fish it fast or fish it through some different current so I know a lot of you guys are looking for this style bait it's going to have a squared off lip as well so it's going to have excellent cover deflection as it bounces across the rock so i'm pretty stoked to have these in so the sukari from ima available now and then finishing off kind of the little bait theme for the week, uh, we see some new spoons from Little Jack. These are the Little Jack Metal Addict spoons. So these are the Type 01. So these are going to be thinner, more of that kind of skinny profile, similar to like a duo type spoon. They're going to come stock uh, with front stinger up there. Those are BKK hooks up top. So. You know, I know a lot of you guys are chucking tiny spoons, both kind of casting and wind and lift and drop. If you are, these might be great ones to add. Little Jack just makes very realistic, very cool baits. So this might be right up your alley. So the Metal Addict Type 01 available from Little Jack. All right, and then finally, Jeff, let's end it on some bags. Big bag whore here, right? Admittedly, you like bags? Everybody likes bags, right? So one of the brands in the bags that has just dominated here has been LSD Designs out of Japan. They make amazing bags, highly functional, really cool looking, but lots of unique things, right? Like built-in water bottle holders, uh, built-in rod holders, right? All kinds of compartments. So this is a new bag from them. This is the Hip Bag Tuned Neo. So this is designed to be worn uh, as a hip bag. You can also wear it as a sling, which is great. On the bottom, there's going to be a very durable kind of waterproof area here. You can use this little side pocket here as a water bottle holder. If you don't need a water bottle holder and you want to turn it into a rod holder, just merely with a clip, that folds down and now you can store a rod in there. Lots of beautiful internal compartments. These are going to be built, you know, with that same kind of just high-end quality that you would get from, I don't know, like a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton. I mean, probably even better, I would say, than those two brands. I see the way you're looking at me, Jeff, but this is LSD Designs. These are amazing. So uh, you see two different camo patterns here available in this guy. So a couple great options there in the hip bag tuned Neo. We also see a new color drop in our number one selling bag. This is the One Shot Side Baby. This is the new camel color. So just a really cool kind of muted brown tone. This is a great one to wear as a sling. You can wear as a chest pack. Uh, I've seen Griff walking around this thing literally attached to his thigh. Like you could do all kinds of different things if you wear it normally, like most people would, like as a sling. Uh, it has rod holders kind of built into the side and then two internal compartments here uh, for storing your boxes, your mesh wallets, so on and so forth. Okay, so the new camel color available now. And then probably the most versatile bag in their lineup gets a refresh. This is the LSC Designs One Shot Side Neo. Okay, so this is going to have that same kind of waterproof, uh, very durable bottom. So if you are taking it on and off and you're laying it down and picking it back up, you don't have to worry about that tearing or water seeping in. Uh, it's got lots of great options. You know, mesh pocket on the side for your water bottle, uh, built-in rod holder on the side. Everything is padded, by the way, on this thing, so it's super comfortable to wear. This is that new kind of crazy blue camo color that looks super sick, so that is available. It's also available in this great, very lightweight black rip stop. Okay, so just nice and clean and light. And of course, you have your two traditional camo colors as well in that guy. So if you guys are looking for like one pack to kind of do it all, this would be a great one. New this week from LSD Designs. All right, that's a wrap, Jeff. That was a lot of things. A lot of trout stuff, some big baits, some packs, which is dope. Uh, of course, my steed's limited. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm in love, right? So hopefully some of those were exciting to you guys. I'd love for you to try them. If you have questions on anything we covered, drop it down below and I will definitely get some answers coming to you. Jeff, as always, will leave links to the products so you guys want to check them out closer. Guys, happy Sunday. On behalf of myself and Jeff and everybody here at the Hookup Tackle, 
Guys, thanks for giving us time on Sunday mornings. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your business. We really appreciate it. Jeff and I are off to iCast. Uh, as I mentioned, follow along on Instagram. We'll do some uh, kind of live daily drops there, kind of showcasing some of our favorite things that we see, some of our favorite nonsense that we see, and we will see you guys next weekend. Another What's New episode. So until next time, my friends, thank you again. Have a wonderful weekend. Cheers. Peace. See you, Jeff. See you around, buddy.